Hello everyone, welcome. How to make colored bagels, no food coloring, all natural. A fun recipe has been prepared for you using healthy ingredients, have a good time. If you want to make such colorful pastries, you can make your own recipes without using food coloring. Also, this video can give you an idea to do a nice activity with your kids. Different colored vegetables will be used to color the dough. Purple cabbage for purple color. Fresh spinach leaves for green color. Carrot for orange color. Dry yeast. Salt. Sugar. Wheat flour. Butter. You can use sesame optional. Three mixing bowls, blender for extracting vegetable juices. You can start by preparing vegetable juices. After washing the spinach leaves, add them to the blender bowl. At this stage, you can use it in the mixer, I don't know, maybe the mixer can make this a little easier. The vegetables need to be completely pureed this way. Add the spinach puree to the strainer and drain the water. It is necessary to prepare 150 grams of vegetable broth. Add a little more water and drain the spinach. One hundred and fifty grams of spinach juice ready. Peel and grate the carrots. Mash the grated carrots in a blender. You can use pomegranate flour to give a little more red color. Crush the pomegranate flowers in a stone mortar and add. Add a little water to the carrot puree, mix. Add the carrot puree to the cloth and squeeze out the juice. One hundred and fifty grams of natural orange color ready. Remove the outer skins of the purple cabbage, the outer skins will not be used. Prepare one plate of purple cabbage peel. Add the purple cabbage skins to the blender bowl. You may have a little difficulty because they are very hard shells, add some water it will be easier. Add the purple cabbage puree to the cloth and squeeze out the juice. One hundred and fifty grams of natural purple color in prepared condition. Add 
add vegetable juices of three different colors into three different containers. Add sugar with a small teaspoon. Add one spoon of salt. Add one small spoon of dry yeast. Different mixing tools are used to prevent the colors from mixing with each other. Mix until sugar, salt, and yeast dissolve. Add 200 grams of flour in the first step, then another 50 grams will be added. Mix with spoon. Add butter. Add another 50 grams of flour, and a total of 250 grams of flour has been added. Knead the dough well with your hands, knead it by crushing it on the counter. Roll up the dough and add flour, and add the dough into the bowl. You can cover the dough with a plastic bag. Wait 30 minutes like this. Caramelize some sugar in the pan. Add half a glass of water. Those who watch the Simit recipe video must know why I made this. The dough is rubbed out to make it crispy. This sauce needs to cool completely. You can add cold water to the bottom and speed up the cooling. After the dough has been waiting for 30 minutes, you can proceed to the shaping phase. Add flour and expand the dough. Expand the dough using a rolling pin. You need to expand the dough squarely. Place the colored doughs you have prepared in the same size on top of each other. Divide into eight equal parts.
You need to stretch the dough without mixing the colors too much. Stretch the dough, fold it in half and form a curved shape and join the ends. Colored bagels have been shaped, you can add them to the oven and bake this way if you want. Add the pastries to the sauce you prepared. Add it inside the sesame, normally it is not necessary to add sesame seeds, because the outside is not coated for the colors to show. Sesame is not added to three pastries to better understand the difference. You can bake in the oven at 200 degrees for 15 minutes. It is clear that the pastries without sesame look more elegant. It was a very colorful snack, very flashy, very soft and delicious. I was happy that it turned out like this on the first try. Don't forget to click the like button. See you again in a new video. Goodbye.